गुड मॉर्निंग द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लखनऊ हैज डिसाइडेड टू अपलोड द ई कंटेंट लेक्चर्स टू यूटिलाइज द लॉकडाउन पीरियड फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स एंड आई एम रियली वेरी वेरी थैंकफुल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स एंड द व्यूअर्स हु आर कंटिन्यूसली डिमांडिंग टू अपलोड मोर लेक्चर्स ऑन सेरिमेंटोलॉजी एंड सिक्वेंस जोटोग्राफी सो टिल नाउ इन सिक्वेंस जोटोग्राफी वी हैव डिस्कस ए नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स दैट वॉट आर पैरा सिक्वेंसेस वॉट इज प्रोग्रेडेशन वॉट इज degradation what is retrogradation and how the shore line shift towards land or how the shore line shift towards ocean and what change it takes place in the depositional sequences as well as in the phases so a number of uh, term we have discussed we have also analyzed the shore line trajectory the walther's law and then what para sequences will be form if the sea level is rising or the sea level is falling second stratigraphy is basically the stratigraphy which takes place because of the rise and fall in the sea level in the sedimentation pattern so we have analyzed the sea level the rate of sea level and if this is the sea level complete cycle of sea level so you just see that if this is the cycle of sea level this is high sea level and this is low sea level and the time is moving in this direction then from this place a to this place b this is fall in sea level or this is the forced regression we have already discussed in the first and second lecture then from point b to point this point c when the sea level just starts rising this is the rise in sea level whereas in terms of sequence system track this is the low stand system track and from this place c to this place d the sea level is rising and in terms of system track this is from c to d is the transgressive system track again from point d to point e this is the end of rise in sea level the sea level is rising and in terms of system track this is the high stand system track so when the sea level was rising just the start of rise in the sea level is low stand system track when the sea level is rising very rapidly that is transgressive system track and when again the sea level rise in the sea level is very slow and that is the end of the rise in sea level that is known as high stand system track and from point a to b when the sea level was falling that is known as falling stage system track and this takes place during forced regression we have already discussed the forced regression ffsc falling stage system track low stand system track or this is normal regression again tst this is transgression and again hst high stand system track this is again normal regression we have already discussed all these terms so from point a to b when the sea level was falling and the fall in sea level was much more than the rate of sedimentation in terms of system track that is known as falling stage system track and that takes place during forced regression from point b to point c the sea level starts rising but the rise in the sea level was low in terms of system track this is known as low stand system track and in terms of transgression and regression this is known as normal regression from point c to point d the sea level was rising very rapidly in terms of system track this is known as transgressive system track and in terms of transgression and regression this is known as transgression from point d to point e this is the end of the rise in sea level in terms of system track this is known as high stand system track and in terms of transgression and regression this is known as 
not in Krishna. So the first system track, that is the falling stage system track. We are already know, familiar with few concept of falling stage system track. That the falling stage system track will take place during forced regression. During falling stage system track, the shore line will shift towards ocean. Shore line will shift towards ocean. Number three, during falling stage system track, we will get core surfaces at the top. During falling stage system track, because the shore line is shifting towards ocean, we will get core surfaces at the top. This is also characterized by shallow water faces at the top and the deep water faces at the bottom. Now what changes will take place into the configuration of the shore line and into the deposition on the shore line as well as on the uh, coastal part as well as into the deep sea. So let us consider the basin floor. This is continental shelf, this is continental slope and this is deep sea plain. And this is the sea level. If the sea level is falling because we are discussing about this part from this point A to the point B, FSST, falling stage system track, when the sea level was falling. If this is the sea level, this is continental shelf and this is continental slope and the deep sea plain. And if sea level is falling, this was the clinoform, if the sea level has fallen up to this place, Now this will change up to this and now the new climb form will form like this. Now again if the sea level has fallen up to this place, now this river will adjust up to this place and new climb form will be formed. So on the coastal plain, the river will incised here incision will take place, degradation will take place, erosion will take place. It means when the sea level was falling, erosion was taking place on the coastal plain as well as on the continental shelf. And the sediments which were deposited on this part, they are very unstable. And the supply of the sediment was very high because all the terrigenous sediments which were deposited earlier up to this part, now they were transported up to this part and this part is very unstable because the continental slope is very unstable. So the sediments will bypass all these and they will be deposited into the deep sea plain in the form of submarine fans. We all are familiar with the deep sea fan. Very famous deep sea fan is the Bengal fan. So submarine fans. Why these submarine fans will be formed? Because the terrigenous sediments as well as the sediments which were eroded from the continental shelf, they were supplied up to the deep sea plain. So submarine fans will be formed by turbidity current deposits. Again a low system wedge will be formed because of the debris flow deposits. So the turbidite deposits and this is the debris flow 
deposits. So what is this? At this part we can see that this is the area of sub aerial exposure. This is sub aerial unconformity because erosion is taking place. So this is sub aerial unconformity and what is this? This is the base of forced regression. It means in this situation FSST falling stage system track it is characterized by sub aerial unconformity on the land part. It is characterized by incision or erosion into the rivers. It is characterized by progradational sequences. They are moving towards ocean, on lap, down lap, and the submarine fence and the wedges which are formed just above the base of the forced regression. So this is from point A to point B when the sea level was falling. After this the sea level starts rising slowly and the rate of rise in sea level was less than the rate of sedimentation. This is known as normal regression. From, from point B to point C. This is the situation of low stand system track. So what will happen during low stand system track? Now low stand system track that will operate above this. The sea level starts rising slowly if this is point 1, this was point 2, this was point 3. Now this 3 of falling stage system track is point x for low stand system track. Now sea level starts rising slowly from x to y. What changes will take place? Here and then slow deposition here. From x to y again here and slow deposition here. From y to z here and slow deposition here. It means during low stand system track when the sea level was rising slowly what changes are taking place number one the shore line that shifts towards ocean because the rate of sedimentation was higher than the rise in sea level number one. Number two, it is again characterized by progradation here and a gradation here, a gradation and progradation. And it is because sea level was falling in just before the start of low stand system track so that was characterized by this this is the sub aerial unconformity and in this direction we are getting their correlative conformity So the base of low stand system track is the sub aerial unconformity and their correlative conformity. This correlative conformity is the top of falling stage system track. So this sub aerial unconformity and its correlative conformity is known as sequence boundary number one. It means low stand system track 
is capped within the sequence boundary number 1 and after the end of this low stand system track which is characterized by the progradation a gradation again low stand wedges and after all the deposition of the low stand system track the sea level starts rising and just the start of the rise in sea level is known as transgressive surface so the FSST falling stage system track is located between sub aerial unconformity and the base of forced regression and the sequence boundary number one. Whereas the LST is located between the sequence boundary number one and the transgressive surface. The transgressive surface that starts from point C to this point D. This is the transgressive surface when the sea level rise very rapidly. So again we can revise in a nutshell that during falling stage system track the terrigenous sediments as well as the sediments which are eroded from the continental shelf they bypass the continental shelf and they were deposited into the deep sea in the form of submarine fans and the clinoforms and the wedges. Whereas in the low stand system track and it is the falling stage system track is characterized by the degradation and the progradation whereas the low stand system track is capped within the sequence boundary number one and the transgressive surface it is characterized by the progradation and the a gradation uh, you can again learn it from my first lecture second lecture this is the third lecture in the series of sequence boundary I am thankful to all of you, but I am really very sorry that during this lockdown period, I don't have any uh, big blackboard or whiteboard. This is only a small blackboard and, and the whiteboard in which there is a limitation of figures. But in the next, I will try to explain the transgressive system track and the high stand system track. Till then, you can revive both these system tracks. Thank you and good wishes to all.